Hi, I'm Jason with 3D Printing Canada, and today we're continuing our review of the Creality CR-10S, and we're going to print a Benchy. One of the first things that people print when they get a new printer is a Benchy. This is a good way to stress test your printer and really test its capabilities. I already have a whole collection of boats at home, so we decided to do something a little different. We've designed a Canadian-themed maple leaf Benchy, and we're going to print it in red, which is our new select PLA made from NatureWorks NGO 404 3D PLA. Let's get started. As we mentioned in the unboxing video, it's a lot easier to use blue painter's tape instead of yellow masking tape. You could also use glue stick. If you're going to use something like tape, put it on the bed before you level it. Let's get started. Now that we've got the tape on the bed, the next thing we're gonna do is heat up the bed and the nozzle to operating temperature. It's best to level when it's heated because things tend to expand a little bit as it gets warm. Turn the switch on the back of the control unit. Press it down and go to prepare. Scroll down to preheat PLA, since that's what we're printing with today and that will start to warm up the nozzle. You can see the set temperature at the top and the current uh, sensed temperature at the bottom. The bed is located over here. Currently it doesn't have a set temperature, so let's warm up the bed as well. You can warm up the bed by going to control, temperature, and then bed. You can see it's set to zero. Turn that up to 60-ish. Now we just wait for that to get heated. Now that we're up to temperature, we're going to start to level the bed. First thing I'd suggest you do is go to prepare and auto home. This will home the X, Y, and then Z. And you need to make sure that you have a little bit of clearance between the nozzle and the bed. To ensure you have that, you can use these screws underneath. There are leveling knobs at each corner. I know I have clearance, so I'm going to scroll down inside prepare, bed auto leveling, and then next step. Oops. Then take a piece of paper. Slide it underneath the nozzle, and you want there to be a little bit of drag between the nozzle and the bed. If it's loose, you can tighten, or loosen rather, the knob at the bottom until you feel more drag. There you go. Then press next step, and you'll do the next corner, and you'll repeat this for all four.
All right, we're all heated up, we're leveled, and now it's time to load our filament. It's always a good idea to throw your filament through the little holes in the spool so it doesn't unwind on you. If you allow it to unwind, it can get tangled and ruin a print. Snip off the first part of the filament because sometimes it gets a little crinkled or damaged. I like to load my filament underhand like this. And now we're gonna put it through the filament runout sensor. All right. This right here is the filament runout sensor. We're gonna feed it through there first. This sensor will pause your print if the filament runs out or if it breaks for some reason. Then you need to feed it through the small hole in this lever right by the Z-axis lead screw. Press the lever in to relieve the tension off the drive gear. And sometimes fluctuating the lever like this allows it to wiggle its way into the Bowden tube. There we go. At this point, we're gonna raise the nozzle a little bit just to extrude a little bit of plastic. Go to prepare, move axis, Move one millimeter, move Z. Then go back into prepare, move axis. We'll move one millimeter and we'll choose extruder. This will start feeding the plastic. You'll see the drive gear that we just fed it through at the top here is pulling the plastic through. And in a few moments, we should see red plastic coming out the nozzle. Sometimes you'll notice a different color coming out of the nozzle initially, and that's because they test them at the factory before they ship them. In this case, they seem to have used purple. All right, now we're ready to print. We're printing from the SD card, which we've already inserted into the unit up here. To select the G code, go back into the main menu, scroll down to print from SD. And in this case, we're printing the 3D Printing Canada Maple Leaf Benchy. The G code has a set temperature for both the bed and the nozzle. The unit will start heating up to that particular temperature. Once it reaches that temperature, it'll just start printing.
Here we are about an hour and a half later and our Benchy has finished printing. I should point out that we did notice the way we put the spool holder on on this particular box was causing it to be a little bit wobbly. So we flipped that over to the other side and that worked out much better. Let's take it off the bed. Grab your spatula or scraper and pry it just underneath the corner. It's really stuck, but that's good. There we go. And there we have it. The 3D Printing Canada Benchy. So remember, like, subscribe, and join us next time and see what we're going to print. Thanks for watching.